Fair warning, this video may contain some triggers for people, so if you get triggered easily, you should probably just unsubscribe now. I'm Jason with Buy My Bits, and I'm about, I'm about to blow up $5,000 worth of Macintosh computers. America! What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. I have been absent for about seven days and that is because it has been the big once a year camping trip pre-week <laughs> for like the last week. Basically where I work with our group of friends, we have this once a year camping trip that usually happens like middle of June, but because of the coronavirus, we pushed it back to the middle of July. And that was this last weekend where, you know, some of the coronavirus gathering, you know, limitations were lifted. Still, I know that, you know, us hanging out and not wearing masks and just having fun is probably gonna trigger some people out there either way. I did it, so here we are. So in today's video, because I have been super focused on this camping trip and I haven't even tackled even my most recent project coming up, I'm really sorry, Synology, seriously, I know, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I just, oh, it'll, it's gonna start this week. I have a giveaway coming for this and I, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet just because, well, that whole thing landed uh, poorly for timing, but now I'm back in full swing more or less. As you can see, I haven't shaved either in like a week, so you know. So this is gonna be a small little highlight video of the camping trip and kind of focusing a little bit on a couple things. One, there was an event that happened this weekend and due to me not wanting to pick fights, I'm ill-equipped to battle. I won't show what the event was, but I will show kind of the setup that I did in order to make that event live in the middle of nowhere. And both of these things kind of made that happen. And two, I took some laptops and I blew them up with Tannerite because why not? I may have slightly exaggerated the cost. Uh, two decked out MacBook Pros and one in the, the bigger size and one in the smaller size. I mean, it's roughly 4,000, maybe 5,000 total after tax, brand new in 2011. But uh, you know, it's 2020, so those things are nine years old. But hey, saying I blew up $500 worth of laptops doesn't ring nearly as nicely as $5,000 worth of laptops. Either way, five pounds of Tannerite made a decent little explosion. Of course, I followed that up later with like 18 pounds of Tannerite, but you know, who's counting? So which one do you wanna hear about first? Me setting up a mobile streaming unit or me blowing up MacBooks? To vote, hit the like button for MacBooks or the dislike button for the projector. Go ahead, I'll give you some time. All right, I'm just kidding. The first thing was the projector. I wanna focus on that because this was something that was requested because we moved everything back and there was an event going on. There was a lot of people that wanted to watch this live event. You have to remember, there's a lot of sports and stuff not going on right now. So people are craving for things to watch. And because there was a major event coming up on July 11th that people wanted to watch, so they started talking about leaving early, which is bad because we're out in the wilderness, we're drinking and having fun and, you know, you're not supposed to drink and drive because that's the worst possible thing you could ever do. Because we didn't want this to become a thing or hinder the fun, I set up a projector. Now this is an Epson projector. Uh, I'm just gonna, it's called the Waxja, but it uses a pretty bright bulb that is potentially sensitive to fluctuations in power. Power that could be coming from something like a generator. Now with the generator, whenever you have a spike in power and it has to compensate for it, you can have fluctuations in power, which can give you some dirty power, if you wanna call it that. And I'm not saying with 100% certainty this bulb would blow with you know power spikes or surges or anything like that, but because it is a sensitive piece of equipment, I got this. Now, no, I did not get this specifically just to stream this event. I got this for other reasons as well. And I plan on doing a full review, especially now that it's dirty, but I plan on doing a full review later on. I love this thing. This thing is amazing. This is a Jackery 1000 watt Explorer 1000. It's basically just a ginormous battery with a DC and an AC output. I use this thing for all kinds of stuff this weekend, including running LED bulbs, running the projector, and running a spinning little target thing that I made, which 
You guys saw the video on that? It took three different revisions to get that going. You know what? I'll throw that in this video too. So I used this hooked up to the generator basically as a power conditioner to run the projector. The problem is, is that this projector drew about 400 watts and this thing only charges at a capacity of about 160 watts. So needless to say, it was kind of important to time it just right because running, you know, 200, 250 watts off of this for let's say three hours, I think is what the event was. It was kind of a challenge because it is still just a battery. It's not a generator. And at about two hours and 45 minutes, it was on 10% power and I had about 15, 20 minutes left of the event left. So instead of risking this thing going out and the primary thing of the event that was going on, I pretty much just plugged this into the generator and it survived. But still, two hours and 45 minutes, pretty good. I used a Fire TV, I hooked it up to the projector, I downloaded the app that allowed me to play and stream said event and everything ran great. I then hooked it up to a portable large speaker, that way I have great audio through an aux cord and well, everything ran great. With a simple sheet on the side of a camper, we were able to stream the entire event without issue and it was just amazing because it was kind of like a cool little break in between all the other stuff, the four wheelings, the guns, and the, you know, drinking later on when we're not doing any of the danger stuff, you know, all that stuff. It was a nice breakup of all that stuff. And with this battery, I was able to use the DC out because I bought like a little adapter that goes from the uh, 12 volt hookup to like jumper cable styles. So I was able to use that with the 12 volt out and a 12 volt motor for a radiator fan off of a some with the AutoZone, it was like, give me a cheap radiator fan that's electric and uh, runs off 12 volts. So I set that up. I made this little spinning device thing that I attached Tannerite to. And then we ran a little contest to see who could shoot the target first. I didn't time it. Want to get it, man. That's it. I was worried. I thought he was going to get it. It was a $5 buy-in, you got five bullets, and everybody shot one bullet at a time. It took way longer than I expected. I don't know why I didn't expect it to take longer, but because we had to switch and shuffle around, it was kind of a slow process. But the total pot came to about $65, and somebody hit the target in like the third round, I want to say, the third bullet. So here's the damage. This is the counterweight side. This is the shot on the side with the Tannerite. So blew the hell out of that. And then where he shot it, it actually blew into the uh, post right there, which of course blew the wires up and uh, it's effectively dead. So um, we could go a second round, but I know it's broke. We can't do it again, but you know, whatever. Unfortunately, because it did take so long and you know, I pretty much didn't think anyone was going to hit it the first round, I didn't get any video of them actually hitting the target. Pretty much, he hit it when it was kind of on the downslope, so it was really close to the uh, post and it blew the wiring out. And technically, I could have fixed it by just wiring it back up, but because it took so long and the event was starting soon, I just didn't want to go through the hassle. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of sort of still recovering from this whole trip like major, like majestic level heartburn going on. We do a boil, straight up Cajun, just sausage and shrimp and potatoes and corn. And I indulged myself with, you know, various forms of liquor and beer, which apparently at the age of 35 gives you massive heartburn for a day or two. Also fun fact, side effects of anti-acid overdose is a real thing. So moving on to the explosion, America, if yeah. I strapped five pounds of Tannerite to $5,000 worth of laptops, give or take some change. Maybe closer to 4,000, brand new. Maybe closer to $500 on eBay right now. But this is all about the big bada boom and I wanted to explode some MacBooks, so roll the footage. America. <laughs> oh, 
Big bada boom. Holy shit. <laughs> There's shit everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh, look at that. You think we could repair this? Oh no, that's the hard drive, right? Yeah, it's a Mac. It don't matter. Oh, the hard drive actually survived. Yeah. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, it's still smoking over here. Hey, for some reason, my computer's not wanting to turn off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try restarting it? Did you turn it off and on again? I need you to reach around the back, key. unplug it, and plug it back in. I need this. <laughs> yeah. so that's got all my nudes. Yeah. yeah, that's where all the nudes are, so that's the important stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking still smoking. Look what it did. Oh fucking twisted gosh. that inward. Dude, it did. Holy shit. <laughs> Where were the buckets sitting? Right in front of it? No, they were they on are, top of They it. were side oh, by okay. side. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, it went inside of it. Look at this guy. That one survived? Look at that. They don't pick up a spider. The aftermath was hilarious. I loved it. It took a long time to pick up a bunch of shrapnel. And because I brought so much tannerite with me, I was kind of sad that I didn't put more in there. I just thought five pounds was enough and anything more would risk, would risk shrapnel being you know flung over to us. But after that explosion, I kind of feel like I should have doubled it up and did 10 pounds. Still, it definitely wrecked those MacBooks and it was very satisfying to clean up the wreckage afterwards. But past the projector, hooked up to the battery, the battery coming in and powering a spinning target, which, you know, really any kind of battery could do, like the regular car battery could do, and blowing up some MacBooks, I also got the four-wheeler out and I may or may not have ran into some issues with my brand new Can-Am four-wheeler. This is a super expensive, high-end four-wheeler that I paid so much money to just boss it up for this weekend, you know, and it failed miserably. Like the first hour that I got out there, I unpacked the four-wheeler and went straight down to the river and tried to cross it. And I got about two and a half feet deep and I just lost all power to the wheels. Just gone. Pretty much this Can-Am Renegade, even though I paid for the upgraded version of the Can-Am Renegade that comes stock with a snorkel and everything, basically making this thing built for going into watery areas just did not work at all. Even though the snorkel didn't even get splashed with water, the, the housing unit for the belt was completely full of water. After I went back up, got somebody to tow me out of the river, I pulled the little plug off of the belt housing and probably about half a gallon worth of river water just came gushing out. <sighs> Essentially ruining my Friday night because for the rest of the day, after I got everything unpacked and tent set up and all that other stuff, I pretty much just shade tree mechanic that thing, took off the housing, undid a bunch of plugs because it was throwing engine codes afterwards. The, the waterproof plugs that goes into the side of the transmission had sand and water deep inside of it and that was triggering codes on the machine and basically a whole bunch of fail, you know, like things you wouldn't expect this thing to do. It, it just just sucked. With one exception, I was able to go down when the river came up and I went through the area that was previously just a sandbar and I had some weeds and some stuff to grip onto and I just went out there real quick and then kind of came back and I was able to successfully go through that. But when I did that and I just did a simple quick pass through the water, I went back up and unplugged the plug again for the housing and water still came out and I had to let it dry out because it was wet again. Like, like what the heck, Can-Am? You know, like, hey, thanks for giving me five seconds in the water, but I'm really kind of let down. Maybe I should have bought a razor. That is my highlight for the weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back to my regular scheduled programming after I finish taxes and, and you know, do some stuff. I got this coming up and I got the 
giveaway for this NAS coming up. So those are the two planned videos right now. But thank you for watching, like, and subscribe below. Also, any kind of hate, any kind of triggers, leave those in the comments. But for anybody who's left, thank you for watching and have yourself a great day. Holy I'm shit, there's a crater! <laughs> there's a crater in the ground! We got a crater! <laughs> Damn! It definitely moved it. Oh, yeah. It fucking moved the shit out of it. But yeah. it, it... Did it clean the tree? I think it blew all the bark off. Mm. Was it? Was it like that? I think so, yeah. Is it hot? It shouldn't be. Not really, no. Let's go, Mr. America! America! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> How'd you like awesome. it? Awesome. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there goes the beer cans. <laughs> Don't get clipped on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs>